brion brioche. Yes, we have some honey, we have some fresh yeast, we have some eggs, and we have some butter. Uh, I also need to add in some salt into this. Salt is really, really important in bread. When you're making bread, is you need to use a strong flour. Flour that has a high level of protein. So, <coughs> first things first, the honey's into the dough. Let's just mix that in with a bit of the flour first. So we'll just take, always crack your eggs into a separate dish. Pour the eggs in, in the middle. And we're gonna bring this all together. This is gonna start making a nice, wet, sticky dough. I'm going to bring the dough out and just put it onto the table, like so. Now this butter has been out of the fridge all night. Okay, it's worth mentioning that it's not, it's not fridge cold. It's really important that to make sure that the, the butter is at room temperature. Just start to just knead the dough a little bit first, just to get it working. So what we're going to be doing is lifting the dough, we're going to be slapping it down against the table, and we're going to be folding it over itself, the butter, into this dough. So I just kind of soften it up with my hands, and we're going to start working it in. So we're going to continue. We're going to lift it, we're going to slap it down, we're going to pull it and drag it over. I'm going to keep doing this. And I want to get a bit of heat in the dough. You want to give it as much kind of oomph as you can, okay? This is good when you have a bad day, isn't it? It's great. <laughs> if you want to take out the weeks of aggression, <coughs> make bread. <laughs> you don't want to add flour to this because yeah. this dough has got the right amount of flour in it. That's why it goes to the effort of weighing it out. Yeah. All you need to do is keep working it. Now the thing with doughs is that the more friction you give it, the stronger those gluten strands get. The stronger the gluten strands get, the more elasticated the dough becomes. The more elasticated the dough is, the more it will come off the table. The reason why the dough is sticking to the table at the moment is because it's not actually elasticated enough. It takes a few minutes, you know. Making bread should should get the uh, the body pumped, you know. Should should get you work. Look, you see how much, you see how much smoother it's coming now. Yeah. Just to get them into a nice little ball. Just turn them around for the dough scraper, like that. From underneath. Okay. How, how long is the the proofing? Uh, it depends slightly on the temperature of the room. Probably an hour. So, the brioche. I'm just using a little bit of water just to moisten the top, make sure that it's not dried out over the top. We can see it's proved up nicely. What I also need is a bit of my non-stick spray. So we're going to do brie with brioche in the middle. I'm going to cut this in half. Just gently roll. Just turning ever so slightly. Don't be too rough with it. Just gently roll. Turn. Okay. It's important to make sure you let it relax, because otherwise when you do that, it shrinks. Just cut it in half, cut each of these in half again, put these into three. Your edges, your sides, into the centre, like so, and then you pinch. So what I'm trying to do is make a little, almost like a bauble. I'm pinching it all together so the underneath has a nice smooth top. That's going to be the top that points up, let's put it at the moment. So they're both hitting the ground like that, and you push it around and around and around and you create that. They're a little bit more expensive than a regular free range egg, but you know. Camembert, it's the source of one of my girlfriend's favorite Christmas jokes is this. It's how do you coax a bear? Camembert. <laughs> 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 okay, Camembert goes in the middle. Right. So you might not need all of them, to be honest, but I find that if you, if you think you're gonna need eight and you cut eight, they're gonna be too big. If you cut 12, right, they yes. should be the right size. You just might not need all 12. That <laughs> makes sense to you? Yeah. A little bit of garlic, literally just cracked, just so that the flavour can ooze over it, like so. A little bit of sea salt. Uh, temperature is at now, should be fine. Yeah. Easy little change you have to find that thing to take the food. Some of the goodness out. Oh, yeah.